This is a review for the North Face Men's Thermo Ball Traction Booties. What I've got on camera is this shady blue and TNF black colorway in a size US Men's 11. You can find this on Amazon for right around $69, nice. I'll drop the link in the description. These are insulated booties with a high traction rubber sole. The upper is a recycled ripstop finished with DWR for water resistance. The insulation is achieved with synthetic fibers, not real down. The inner collar features a fleece lining, and the heel covering is collapsible with elastic side panels for ease of entry and exit. There is also a heel loop. Okay, so should you buy? Oh my goodness, I can't say yes fast enough. I absolutely love these booties. Honestly, I never would have bought something like this if I hadn't been prodded by my girlfriend to buy her some. I wound up getting a pair for myself and I do not regret it. What initially caught my eye is they appeared to be down filled, which is attractive for cozy reasons. But ultimately I'm so satisfied because these turned out different and better than I had expected. Let me explain. I thought these were going to be squishy, lightweight, almost fragile slippers. Perfect for keeping warm in the winter, around the house or around camp, but not a rugged shoe. I was definitely wrong. First of all, when I pulled these out of the box, I was immediately surprised by the firmness of the upper. The boots have much more structure than I expected, and the pictures online do them justice. The advertised silhouette is realistic. I think my surprise is probably partially due to the synthetic makeup rather than real down, but that's totally fine. As long as it's warm, it doesn't matter. And if you're the sustainable type, it's just a matter of whether or not you support the North Face's environmental and or vegan policies and exploits. And uh, to be clear, these booties aren't rugged per se, but they certainly are a lot tougher than a household slipper. They are extremely warm with a wonderfully soft interior. These fit me true to size and are easy to slip on and off, but won't ever come off when I don't want them to. The heel loops are also a very nice addition. I think they are the most cozy when worn with socks rather than totally barefoot, but that's up to you. It just gives a breathable layer between you and the boots and will prevent any sweating. One of the best things about these is a very substantial rubber sole. These are absolutely fit for walking and exploring outdoors on pavement, dirt, trails, rocks, etc. I was concerned taking these on rugged terrain for fear of anything sticking up a few inches would puncture the upper. But now, seeing the durability and the quality of the upper, I'm not so worried. I was also surprised to realize they come with a DWR coating, which is a huge plus and further makes the case for peace of mind outdoors. That being said, I should reiterate these are water resistant and not truly waterproof. Although is anything really waterproof? I digress. There are at least 10 different color options available online. I like this uniform blue color, but you can also get black and gray along with a variety of camos and plaids. There is also a women's version, so you can match with your significant other. These fit me true to size. I wear an 11 in basically every brand of shoe, and this size 11 was perfect. A word of warning, these do not come in half sizes. If you're one of those people and you're not sure if you should size up or down, personally, I would recommend sizing down. Although I would consider mine a perfect fit, the shoe design is such that you could wear a smaller size with a tighter fit, and I think it would still be okay. There is just a little bit of play there. The squishiness of the upper lends itself to compression and expansion. On the other hand, if you go a size too high, you'll find it much too loose and baggy. This is exactly the process my girlfriend went through, and we wound up having to send the larger size back and grab the next size down instead. I think that's just about all there is to say about this product. I'm satisfied with my purchase, and I would recommend. I dropped the Amazon link below if you're interested. Please let me know if I can improve these videos in any way. Like and comment below with any questions, I'm more than happy to help and I'm sure I missed something. If you'd like to support the channel, you should of course subscribe, but if you'd like to go above and beyond, you can buy me a coffee using the link in the description. I appreciate every one of you, thanks for watching, and have a fantastic day. Tell me it's good, tell me it's gold, tell me you like breaking the mold.